In the last session, we understood the performance parameters of a motor, but it is different from the motor selection criteria. We select a particular motor based on the overlap of its performance with our criteria. To understand this better, I will take you through some of the parameters evaluated in the process for selection of a motor. The power to weight ratio. It gives us an idea about how much power can it churn out per unit mass. The higher, the better. The power density. In applications with packaging constraints, power density helps to find out how much power is being churned out per unit volume. This parameter is very generic in nature. The aspect ratios, mounting locations, dimensions, orientations will play a greater role in the selection process. If our design is not mature enough to handle the complications introduced by liquid cooling, a constraint is added in the selection parameters. Also, the overall system complexity should be tried to be reduced to a, to a minimum. Simpler solutions are more reliable and easier to build at scale. Efficiency overlaps will be covered in upcoming videos. While we are at selecting motors, have you ever wondered how traction motors are different from industrial motors? Motors have been in existence and have been used in industrial and home applications for more than half of the previous century. But can we just pluck out a motor from a pump installed on top of your bore well that pumps out water? The answer is yes and no. Torque and RPM is the same if it's a pump, turbine wheel, uh, etc. We can install that motor in our two-wheeler, but be aware, it's not the best way to go about it. The motors found in the industrial drives are generally of constant speed application. The bandwidth of torque variations in these motors is quite narrow. The design is optimized for the, those applications. To get better understanding, we can see the NEMA classification, National Electrical Manufacturers Association, an association for electrical equipment manufacturers in the United States. The classification have multiple classes. The classes are defined based on slip percentage, starting current, locked rotor torque, breakdown torque and other factors. Class A is generally used for fans and pumps. Class B is also used in flans and blowers for SVAC applications. Class C finds its purpose in positive displacement pumps and conveyors. Cranes and hoists have class D motors. Now all these are on one scale of the balance and the traction application electric vehicle motors are on the other. Traction application is a beast by itself. Its torque and RPM band is too wide for one class of motor to encapsulate it. If we, we use a variable speed, variable torque based on traction application which can give you accelerations at any speed. You can expect to have easy rides. So if you plan to use the motor from a defunct pump by repairing it for your DIY electric vehicle scooter, be informed, it will run for sure but might not be the smoothest ride.